do you want to know what it is? Here we go again. What I hate most about dating right now is like men texting me thinking we're gonna invite me somewhere to, and spend some money on me. I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be blunt about it. I don't wanna sit and text all day. Oh, what do you like to do for fun? What do you know? We can figure all of that out over dinner at the very least. I love dealing with a rich nigga. I love dealing with a rich nigga. Cause he gonna trick him. Yuck. But I don't want to sit here and from the comfort of my apartment while I'm in, in my Zen space texting you. I don't. It gets on my nerves so bad. Like, please hurry up and make a plan that involves you spending some money to try to impress me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm fine. Like, I'm fine to not go on dates at this point. Like, I, men are just so exhausting, annoying, inconsistent, broke. Or just stingy. Do your thing, I'm gonna do my thing, I'm gonna keep elevating. I'm not going through all these tests to prove that I'm I'm worth a meal or whatever, whatever it is y'all be trying to do with all these text messages. I didn't I didn't I'm not in pursuit of you. You hit me up. You found me. Thinking thinking somebody's about to go through all this to earn your attention, earn your whatever, whatever. No. I'm gonna need you to come out your wallet immediately, or you're never gonna hear from me again. I don't care. Take it how you want to. But she bluntly stated, I want your resources. So men, we got to impress her while there's nothing for her to do but show up. That wouldn't be a problem if this was a traditional age we live in. But nah, most of y'all chicks don't need a man, remember? And why do it have to be a dinner? Because you want a free meal? She also feels she's beyond being held to any of your standard. Yet, you have to be held to hers. So y'all blue pill dudes is cool with that, right? If you are not spending money, you are not worth my time type-ish. I imagine getting access to me and trying to treat me like I'm common and getting your access revoked. I just look like I was losing my mind. And never getting access to fuck again. Imagine that. <laughs> Use your common sense. Okay, so basically it's what you're saying is that all men are replaceable. That if they don't follow your blueprint and meet all your wants that you just discard them and monkey branch on to the next one. And all you ladies in the comments are like, oh, men are stupid, men are this, you go girl, blah, blah, blah. However, I recently made a video about how all women are replaceable and you ladies had a fit. Y'all reported me for hate speech, got the video banned, violations, etc. But yet you can say that about men and it's not hate speech. My next question to you, young lady, these men that weren't meeting your wants, what were you doing for them? Were you meeting all of their wants and desires? Were you giving them your best? Let me know. Who is going to take care of me? I turned 40 last year and I never really thought about like, I don't have kids and now my grandma's sick and I'm in this family group chat with 11 family members. My grandma had eight children. She's in Chicago. All my aunties and uncles are all in Chicago. I'm in Dallas. So I'm in the group chat and it's like, well, who's taking night shift? Grandma's in the hospital. Who's coming tonight? Who's checking her medication? Who's taking her to the doctor's office? She can't walk. Who's, who's ordering the medical supply? I'm a little concerned because I don't have kids and who is to, who is going to be looking out for me when I'm older I've always like dated people who had kids no problem I just never had like that itch to have kids and I did date someone who had a vasectomy for a long time I'm just like having a little panic attack and I'm I never really thought about this before you see when reality hits sometimes it hit hard this chick brings up a good point. If the most high bless you to get to a ripe old age and you get sick, who's there to take care of you single forever women? 
Hell, your friends will be the same age and most won't do it because they'll have their own issues. You see, having a family for the most part mean unconditional love. You know the type of love written in the vows of marriage that modern women don't want to honor? Now you understand, but it only took you to the age of 40 to get it. I know this is going to sound crazy. One of my coworkers asked me why I was not contributing to my retirement account. Like, babe, come 2050, I guess I gotta go. Say what, say what? It's my time to go. Um, I don't wanna be here that long. I was never asked to. And everything's going to be underwater. We're going to be fighting for clean air, clean water. Um, it's just not going to be a good time. You got to listen to how crazy that sounds. Okay, so this time my BBL almost killed me in a minute or less. This is so sad. Basically, back in 2019, I got a BBL and I thought it was perfect. I thought it was hot shit. It was my chef's kiss. Nobody could tell me shit. Six months in, one of the booty cheeks starts growing. <laughs> Caught her in a giggle prison right now. She's locked in. She's locked in. Hmm? And I'm like, no, 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 no. There's no way. No, it was. It, it continued. People started telling me. People would tell me. And so the original doctor had me go get an ultrasound. The ultrasound said that there was a mass in it and there was fluid. So I had to get it all removed. Flew back to Miami. Tried to get it removed. Basically, they couldn't do it because it was so thick and there was so much. Flew back home. Tried to find a doctor to do it. Tried to find a doctor to do it. Couldn't find anybody. Everybody denied me. Finally, I found a reconstructive plastic surgeon who was willing to do it, but it was a very large price tag, and it was an emergency at that point. It had festered so badly that it was an emergency. So they had to cut my booty cheek open. I still have the scar. It's horrible. To get all of my liquid and solid fat necrosis removed. And if I never found my doctor, I it would have either like just been a very large infection or killed. What these chicks do for social media, they risk in their lives all for the purpose of likes and followers. I mean, this is the modern woman who's so insecure with how God made her. But we'll say men are intimidated by their beauty. These women don't even think about a future. It's all about what makes them happy in the moment. This is the reason they get bored with the good dude. The dudes who work and try to keep a peaceful life with him and this lady. That's lame, right? But booty injections almost killing you was exciting. She had the nerve to laugh about it too. Shit is crazy. Am I tripping or is she a good candidate to be a wife? You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. There's something about women decentering men in their lives that just keeps men pressed. I had a man call me a witch yesterday in one of my comment sections, and though I personally took that as a high honor, and yes, I did base some of my outfit decisions on that, it was just funny to see how upset he was about it. We already know through researchers that the happiest group on earth is unmarried women without children. Women don't necessarily need romantic relationships in order to have their emotional needs met because a lot of women in relationships already aren't having those emotional needs filled by their partner. Women were already getting that emotional support through their friends or their children. One of the best things about being a woman in modern society is if you're able to support yourself and not have to depend on anyone for your financial needs. This is a privilege that women before us didn't have I fully intend to see it as the gift that it is. Y'all ever break up with y'all man and start hanging and dating other men to not think about your man? And then that new man do something so corny and you just think like, my man would have never did this. Like, babe, come get me, please. Come get me. That you just discard them and monkey branch on to the next one. So my oldest daughter has a different dad than my youngest three children. I got pregnant with her when I was 21 by a guy I've been dating since high school. And before he stopped helping with her altogether, he used to always kind of give me a, a prelude that he was probably not going to be around by telling me that he knew that his daughter was going to be just fine and that I would be just fine because... I was in school, I was smart. He knew I would eventually get a really decent job or a good job paying good money and I'd be able to support her. Um, and that I had a good support system and my family had the means to help assist me in raising her and being there for her. 
And so he felt like if he was gone, we would be just fine. The biggest weapon in a woman's arsenal is to withhold sex and to hold marriage over a man's head. The greatest gift you can give a man is your womb and much more than that, a child. But when you can't control your lust, ladies, then shit like this will happen. You find out after the fact that dude was no good. Stop letting these dudes clap the cheeks because you fall into your lust or suffer the consequences. Then women get mad when we say choose better men. The way you choose better men is not having sex with them no matter how attracted you are to them. That's free jewelry. Oh, for real. I did a video earlier telling y'all men to keep your money in your pocket, to do you, <laughs> to stay single. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying I'm not gay and I ain't teaching y'all to be gay, bro. I ain't saying don't have women in your life, but don't get married, dummy. I'm telling you, because marriage don't work out for us in the end. It don't. You lose in the end, especially if you have kids by her. Your house, your car, your dog, your mother, everything is gone. Especially if you get married in California. It's against you. That's why I'm telling y'all that. But guys, do you know it's men in here that want to sign up to take care of another man's child? Them niggas are the biggest fools we know. And, we, and I'm trying to tell them, I understand, I did it before. But it's not appreciated. If it was appreciated, we'll see it all over social media, gentlemen. We see it. We don't never see uh thank you for the gentlemen that that are stepfathers that stepped up to the plate when we don't hear none of that shit. All we hear is men ain't shit, going with your passports and all that negative nonsense. So that's why I was telling y'all that. That's why I put that video. Stay single. I ain't saying I have a woman, but you ain't gotta get married. The fuck you need a piece of paper for? You know what I'm saying? Love yourself, King. That's all I was saying. Keep your money in your pocket. Cause some of them are ungrateful. Stop being a fool.